Okay guys, we're gonna start with the uh, Ethos DeFi. And we'll apply it to this panel up here, the uh, fender, we'll spray it on. Wipe it in. All of this has just been polished. and we'll wipe it off. Feels real slick on the wipe off. Very nice. All right. Okay, we're on to the door panel here. We're gonna Flip to a clean side. And uh, this one, they only want you to use two sprays. And this is a big panel, so I'm gonna use three sprays here. Flip over, we'll wipe off. Also feels pretty slick, but the ethos is definitely more slick on the wipe off. But this is no joke either. All right, for the third panel, we'll flip the towel. We'll flip it inside and out. So now we're on a clean side again. We're gonna use the size spray, our SI spray from Nanolex. I just hate these little sprayers that these companies are using. Oh, now that goes on real easy. Flip the towel. Ooh, that's real slick coming off. Real, real slick. Wow. That's more slick than the ethos. All right, and for the last panel here, flip the towel again. And we're gonna use the uh, ceramic spray from Sonex. Now guys, when applying this one, it goes on pretty good. Uh, not really a big deal, a little bit tacky, but uh, the removal is definitely a lot more tacky than the other products. So it just fits right in line with their other Sonax products. They're all a bit tacky, not very slick. Okay, so we're just trying some different products. As of right now, application and removal, SI Splash, Super easy go on, and when you wipe it off, it is really smooth and slick, all right? My number one, Ethos, number two. Same reasons, easy on, really slick off. Just a tad bit behind the Nanolex. Uh, the next one was the Hybrid from uh, Turtle Wax. Their ceramic spray coating. Easy to go on, pretty easy to come off, decently slick, but not close to these two. And in fourth place, the Sonex, easy on, 
pretty easy off, but definitely not as slick as these three and not even close to there. Now, I don't like this little bottle. It kind of flops over. Can you see that? Real easy. I don't like the sprayer on the Nanolex sprayer. So, um, just my thoughts on that. These three, no problem with the sprayers or the bottles. They sit pretty good. This one, you barely even touch it and it wants to fall over. But uh, so far, it's excellent. Now, we're gonna wait, we'll let these cure, and then next time we wash the car, we'll check it out. But those are my immediate thoughts on these. Okay, on this side, we're gonna use the, uh, this is the de ceramic detailer side. So we wanna use all the products to say ceramic detailer. I have plenty more, but I just picked these four. And uh, we're just gonna spray it on, wipe it in and wipe it off. Okay, we're gonna flip the towel, clean side here. We'll pick up the McKees. This is the Carini line, SIL2 ceramic infused detail spray, high gloss. I'm gonna get a fresh towel because I can feel that towel's getting wet. I'm gonna wipe this off here. Very nice. Last but not least, let's flip the towel inside out. Nice clean side. We're gonna play with the uh, Glossit Ceramic Detail Spray. Okay, so uh, on the passenger side, we're doing a ceramic detailer type of test just to see how these work out. Uh, only bottles that label themselves ceramic detailer. And my first impressions, the McKees Carini line, super slick, smells good, slickest of the bunch. Second one is the uh, ceramic detailer from Gion, smells good, very, very slick. Uh, Glossits ceramic detail spray also smells good pretty slick almost these two are like equal 
but they're not far behind the McKees Carini one. And the last one is the Mother's uh, Ceramic Detailer. Eh, you know, it was all right. So let's wait. When I wash the car, we'll check it out and we'll see the beating and stuff like that. If I have this car long enough, we'll just keep looking at it and see how long they last. All right, you guys, we know uh, Polish Angel Diver didn't do so well with the uh, hydrophobics test. So from the inside out, I have a lot of uh, a hazing on the window. So let me clean the outside first. see if I can can you see there's still some on the inside of the windows there's a little bit of residue there so I'm gonna take you inside see like that kind of spot I'm gonna take you inside and uh, let's clean it from the inside and see how good this stuff does as a cleaner all right, guys, can you see all the fogging? So let's spray. Now, normally I'm gonna spray this towel. We'll do that on that side. So you don't want all this dust, all this stuff falling. Now, guys, I'm sorry about my big head being in the way, but uh, you know, I, I didn't check back to see if I was in the way of the camera, but you can, You'll see, it's still gonna be able to, to watch me get the film that comes on your windows over time. Uh, just from driving with the windows down or some people smoke, some people vape, whatever their issue is, you get this built up film. And we're trying to see how well the Polish Angel Diver cuts this from the inside of the car. Pretty good now. Okay, let's do this side here. And you can see right about where I stopped and how hazy it is over here. Let me turn this. So can you see all those lines and everything? This time we'll spray this. And guys, we are using a two towel method. One, you spray the product either on the window or on the towel, wipe it off, and then use a second towel to come over it and buff off any leftover residue. That window looks good now. Very good. Even see the reflection of the dash. So the Polish Angel is a good cleaner, pretty streak free. I like it for the inside. All right guys, so we're gonna wash the car today. I'm just gonna do a rinseless wash, but I'm gonna rinse it down so you guys can see the hydrophobics of the different panels and the different products we used. Let's do it. All right guys, and uh, here's some of the products we have applied on the car and we're just kind of looking at their durability, their hydrophobics. So on the hood, we have the TI-22 and the Angel X fifth element. On the driver's side, we start with the fender with DeFi driver's door, hybrid, 
turtle wax, ceramic spray coating. Uh, rear driver's door is the SI spray from Nanolex. And then we finish off the rear quarter panel with Sonex ceramic spray coating. On the passenger side, we started with the front fender, mother's ceramic detailer, it's their bead booster. Passenger door is McKee's Green Line ceramic detail spray. Rear passenger door is the Gion ceramic detailer and the rear quarter panel is the uh, ceramic detail spray from Glossip. Okay, so for this first panel, we have the Angel Wax TI-22 as a base with the fifth element on top, that's the wax. Okay guys, so as you can see, it is very hydrophobic. However, it is not the most beautiful looking, perfect circular beads that we like to see. But in this case, we know there is major protection on there. So the beads aren't beautiful, but lots of protection and the gloss we get. I mean, look at the gloss right through the water beads. Pretty cool, right? <clears throat> Okay guys, here we have the Ethos DeFi. It's an excellent product. I really like the hydrophobics of it. I've not tried their other products, but the DeFi is fantastic. Here we have the uh, Turtle Wax Ceramic Spray Coating. Another great product. Of course, it says spray coating. It has the properties of a coating. It's not a real um, 9H type of coating or the ones you get in those little bottles or whatever. It is a property holding spray coating. It's a very good product. Okay, on this door here, we have the Nanolex SI spray or size spray. This was my favorite product to put on and take off and it looks like it's doing a fantastic job just like the DeFi and the Turtle Wax. So very, very good. And on the back here, we have the Sonax Ceramic Spray Coating.
So the Sonax, you know, along the lines of application is just like PNS and uh, polymer net shield and brilliant shine detailer, their BSD, tacky, pain in the butt, kind of on and off. Not crazy ridiculous, just it was the worst of the four that I used on this panel, but it's right in line with all their other products and the hydrophobic performance of it is phenomenal. I mean, tiny, nice standing beads. It is an excellent product. Okay guys, and the top, I didn't do the hardcore polish. I used the uh, McKee's Carini Line ceramic polish when I first got this car. So that's all I did. I let that polish has ceramic in it. And I just want to see how long that that lasts. It's like an all-in-one. So this is the spot we used it on. As you can see, over here we didn't use it. You'll, you'll see right away the little square area. see the where, where the tape line was there's another tape line right there so this area right here still running very strong with the Carini line ceramic polish all-in-one there is nothing put on this this is a polish guys and very very good you can see the difference beautiful okay guys on this panel we have the mother's ceramic detailer this is an ultimate hybrid it's called and it's basically like a bee booster. Very nice product there. Let's move on to this door. And right here we have the Carini line from McKees. This is their SIO2 ceramic infused detail spray. So all these are detail sprays along this, this panel here. Okay, so this detail spray does a nice job. It is adding protection. It is a little on the slower side to sheet off. Um, not that it's super slow because it's running off fast, but could be more of a sheeting type of product. Okay. Okay, let's move on to this door. We have the Gion ceramic detailer very nice um, faster sheeting than the Carini line and the beads are nice very nice product there from the Gion Last but not least, we have the ceramic detail spray from Glossit. Once again on this, a little bit slower on the sheeting part, uh, but I would still say it's a little bit faster than the McKees. They're pretty close and the beading is pretty similar too. But remember, all of these are detail sprays on this side. And these over here on this side are ceramic spray sealants.
right, guys. So if you like the video, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we fully polished the car and um, cleaned it. There was no protection on it at all. So I wanted to test out some of the ceramic sprays and some of the uh, ceramic detail sprays. And, uh, and I mean like coating sprays, okay, over here, not just sprays, but they pretty much say they're ceramic coating spray. DeFi by Ethos doesn't say that, but I know it's pretty good. So, and uh, they're sealants. Let's just say they're ceramic sealants. So anyway, um, we got Sonax, Ethos, Turtle Wax, and Nanolex. And in, in order for my most favorite or the ones that I thought bead beaded the hardest or had the most hydrophobics. I'm gonna say the Sonax, they were all pretty similar. I mean, and you could pick any one of these four and be happy with it. But I mean, I'm just nitpicky. I'm gonna say the Sonax was uh, number one, number two, Ethos. Number three was the Turtle Wax and number four was um, the Nanolex. Now, was the Sonax the easiest to apply? No, so was it my favorite? No. Um, in that case, you got to switch them up. You know, my favorite's probably the uh, Nanolex. And it was just super easy, super slick. Right next to it is the Ethos. Uh, again, super slick after wipe off and killer beating. And then you go down the line like this. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. All four of these are pretty excellent and we'll just as long as i have this car on and i keep washing it, i'll keep looking at that and keeping you guys updated on that on this side we have the four ceramic detailers and if you put them in order so i've got the gion uh mothers glosset and the mckees carini my favorite is probably the gion ceramic detailer but the close second with the mothers hybrid ceramic detailer they're very similar, fast to sheet, uh, good water behavior. The Glosset and the Carini, while well, the Glosset was a little bit faster to sheet than the Carini, just a little bit, and uh, they're, they're about at the end there. All four of these are pretty decent products for spray detailers with ceramic. You, you really can't beat these, okay? They're very, very good. Um, you could apply these ceramic detailers over these ceramic sealants or you could use these as standalones as well they won't last as long here but you're probably going to get some durability out of these they've made them so good now and uh, in the middle on the hood i have the angel wax ti-22 with the fifth element underneath it and you know the beading on that wasn't beautiful it was definite beading but they were ugly beads and there's definite protection because that water just comes off it but um We'll see how long this combination here is. Now, these are not combinations. These are all one, one products per panel. This was two combination, two product combination. You know, the TI-22 underneath the fifth element. But the gloss is fantastic. And uh, the depth and clarity is good on that combination. So I'll keep an eye on that as well. And we'll see how long that holds up out here. This car gets parked outside in the sun when I have it. And uh, hopefully when I return it to them, it'll still be protected. So thanks for watching, guys. I think any of these eight products, 10 products, including the Angel Wax, uh, you're gonna be happy with. They all work really well. These ceramic sprays are definitely awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, these detailers with ceramic in them, pretty good now, guys. They've elevated their levels, these detail sprays to, they're, they're another level now. They can be used as standalones. And you could do that once a month and you'd keep that protection up. So thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys. Stay tuned for more.